everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my video today. I just wanted to come in and just just kind of go through all of the kind of social media platforms that I have where I share all of my projects. So it's just a huge source of information for you guys and it's all free. And I get a lot of people asking me questions on how to find measurements for something or they've lost a tutorial. So what I thought I would do is go through each of the social platforms that I have. So I've got YouTube, I've got my blog, I've got Instagram, Pinterest and Facebook. I do have Twitter, but it's just a feed from Facebook. I don't actually physically use it myself, so I'm not going to touch on that today or show any more. That's it. I, you know, it's there if any of you are on there, but I don't actually really do anything with it. But the main thing for me is YouTube. Now, I can't show you this bit because obviously it's my own channel, but if I click on the craft blog down here and next to their, so here's their title. So next to that you have subscribed or if I hadn't, it would say subscribe and it would be highlighted in red. Now, if I click that bell off, it tells down here, you'll get occasional notifications. If I now click the bell on, it says you'll get all notifications. Now, I get a lot of people asking me, or you know, they say, oh Sam, I, I, I don't know how I miss this, or I don't seem to be getting your videos coming through. If you subscribe to a lot of people on YouTube like I do, it works in the same way as Facebook. It will only kind of show the ones that you maybe watch a lot. And it might be that you subscribe to me and you enjoy the tutorials, but you've also subscribed to other people since and you're enjoying theirs as well. And I kind of, you know, <laughs> just end up going further down the line. If you hit the notification bell, that will bump that channel up. So you know, whatever channels you're really into, go and have a little look. Because the other day I went through and I actually sorted out a lot of maybe older channels that I subscribed to. I unsubscribed from a lot. I turned off notification bells for, you know, a few of them. And just kind of, because I just found sometimes I'm scrolling through and I'm thinking, I'm not, none of this is really inspiring me. So I went through and had just a bit of a clear out, really. <laughs> it sounds awful, but I think our, you know, our tastes change over the years and things that I may have subscribed to years ago. I'm, I've actually got no interest in whatsoever now. So I just went through and kind of sorted it out. And now I'm finding that I'm getting all of the YouTubers that I really enjoy. I'm seeing all of their tutorials. So do go and have a little look and just see next to, you know, who you've subscribed to, if you've turned on that bell or not, because if you turned it on, it'll have two little lines either side. OK, so just go and have a little look at that one. Then also, if you head over to playlists, so if I go back to my channel, they've got me featured there, which is really nice. So I can just click on myself there and then turn that off. That's only coming on because I've got it set in the format for new people that join so that's what they will see if you've already subscribed to me you won't see that welcome video pop up but along here I've got my home I've got videos playlists and community channels and about if you click on playlists it is that there are tons and tons of playlists where I go through and I basically pop every video I make into a different playlist that it will obviously sit in so if I've done a fold flat gift bag I will pop it in the fold flat gift bag playlist so if you you know you're thinking oh I know Sam made a really cool fold flat gift bag if you want to get to it quickly there's only 13 there if you click on that and then some of my best ideas because it's just come on I'm dreaming oh, go on straight away here on the right hand side the video will be for the whatever the video is that's at the top so here it says the huge gift bag and down here it says huge gift bag so that's what that video is but then it will play the faux wooden handle then the curved top and so on and here you will find all my fold fat gift bags so that's one way to get to something quickly if you're thinking oh you know i forgot where it was and that saves you scrolling through all of my youtube videos all you have to do is is go on this one here then if I just come back out of that one, oh gosh, how do I turn that off? Skip ads, pause, get off of it, there we go. <laughs> and then there's there's loads more, so I've got mini albums there, I've got my what did I get, so if you kind of think, oh I remember Sam showed a really cool glue or something that she purchased a few weeks ago, go into the what did I get videos, um, Father's Day ideas, mail cards, it's all there. I get just kind of broken down so you don't have to scroll through a really really long list this is a bit more easier to kind of manage so that's how I organize my YouTube and then on community it's kind of a little bit like a Facebook wall I can just do a little post usually what it is is just to 
well, the last one I done was two months ago to just say I'm going to have an impromptu week off. So it was just so that some people message and they're like, Sam, you haven't posted today. I hope everything's OK. So it's just a quick way for me to kind of let you guys know that, yes, everything's fine. I'm just going on holiday um, or there I put five months ago, I put sorry, everyone having problems with today's upload. And then I've done a happy new year. So I don't use it a lot, but it's there as just a kind of handy way to communicate with YouTube if I need to. And um, then that's channels that I subscribe to and then just a little bit about me, which yeah, you can read if you want. But they are the main ones that I would say for you guys or more so the playlist one to look at is that one there because it's really kind of helpful. And obviously check that you've got your notification bell turned on next to my name as well. So that's YouTube. Then if I go onto the blog, that sits nicely with YouTube. So every time I do a blog post, you if you are on my email list here, I can't believe I've already got over nearly 5,100 followers now. But if you pop your email address in there and hit follow, you will then get an email when I do my blog. So whenever I post on there, you will get a little update. And from there, you can go to the YouTube video because that's always linked in to every tutorial, every blog post that I do. Now, lots of people message saying, you know, oh, uh, how do I find the measurements for the video that you done for? I don't know, the lanterns, say, that i done last Christmas. Some bless, some ladies, they said, oh, I've just spent ages scrolling through all of your blog posts. You don't need to do that. So this is why I wanted to come in and kind of share a few kind of just little tips, really, on how to use all these things. On my blog, if you're on the desktop, you will see this search bar right at the very top on the right-hand side. If you type in there, so, for example, lantern, and then if I tick, uh, tick if I click enter, Straight away, it will come up with the mini lantern. And if I scroll down, it will also bring up the bigger lantern there. Now, it's also bringing up these Chinese lanterns that I made. And I think that's it. Yeah, then it's just the rest of my sidebar there. So under lanterns, I've got three tutorials. And that's the quickest way I would say to go to it. Or you can go onto YouTube, go to playlists, go to Christmas, select the lanterns. And then if you go into the description box, it will say blog post for this tutorial and it will take you straight to this as well. What I do is every time I do a blog post is I will tag words that are relevant to that blog post. So, for example, if I pop in here, jungle. And then it should bring up Monday's video or sorry, blog of the jungle card that I created. OK. Then if I pop in here, Mother's Day, and it should bring up every tutorial I've done for Mother's Day. So here it goes right back. This is 2017, and it's got these lovely boxes that I made. You've got cards. I'm not sure why that one's there, because that was not Mother's Day. I need to look at that one. It's got the teacup and saucers, a pop-up card that I've done, the tote bag. It's got the stepper cards bags there's more as well it's got older posts if you click on that it will go down further so anything you think of and you you only know a word i'm trying to think of some other examples when i'm on the spot like this let's do floral so i just pop in floral there so every time i do a blog post i try and think of what words i would use if i wanted to search for that so here we go so there's that floral gift bag with the card and gift tag that i done and then if you scroll down there, you've got that pretty easel stand card where I done the floral design. That one there, the gift bag. Got a little keepsake storage box. Stunning squash top gift bag. Uh, any size origami faceted boxes because they've got a floral print. Um, I think the other one I'd done within that tutorial had a floral design. They've got floral designs. So you kind of get what I'm saying here. So if you just don't know the name of the tutorial, but you know a keyword, type it in there and it more than likely will bring it up for you. Now, I am aware that if you're on your mobile phone or your tablet devices, that search bar will not be on the right hand side. It will actually be at the bottom of all of these tutorials now unfortunately because i have so many if you just keep scrolling it will keep bringing more and more up so what you need to do is if you're on your tablet or your mobile phone so if i go back to my home page and you just click anywhere on that mixed up craft it will take you back to your home page which is this if you click on the first tutorial regardless to whether you want to do it or not just click on it and then if you just scroll to the very bottom i know at the moment it's showing it there just pretend it's not there 
you scroll to the bottom of the tutorial, right all the way down. I've got quite a lot in this one. Have a great weekend. Sorry, I've got loads of windows opening and it's obviously recording the screen, so it's a little bit delayed. And right down here, it will have search. Now it's saying leave a comment, it's got comments there, but it will have the search bar down here and then type in what it is you want to look for. So I know it's a little bit long winded doing it that way for the minute, but I have asked the guys that do all of the, the blogs and stuff and I've just said to them, can they have a look at mine and see about how I get that moved? So that's what's being done there. Also, you have all these drop downs. So you've got themed projects and under there, you know, you've got all kinds of stuff. So if I click on Easter, you got the two there, you got 2017, and 2018. So it's just going to, if you just click on Easter, it will bring up all of them regardless. And there you go. Straight away, it starts to show all of my Easter tutorials from all the previous years. So, yeah, I hope that's answered some questions for, you know, those that have asked. Also here I've got my card fold catalogue. I do need to go and kind of sort this again because right now this list, look, it's so slow, it's so long. <laughs> and I need to go through that so that they're kind of like more drop down. So I think what I'll do is I'll have pop up cards and then you would click on that and then it would bring down more just so that that list isn't so long because yeah that's ridiculous so i do need to tidy up a few things but i just wanted to kind of show you you got card ideas so fun fold cards you could go in that way as well but i don't think i've been tagging that one i need to check then i got the creative card series and the creative card series 2018 and guess what series is starting tomorrow you've guessed it creative card series 2019 will be just below this and um, these are really popular a lot of you do enjoy it when I do these series so yeah look out for that one and um, yeah so that's kind of it really with the blog so I hope that that's yeah like I said answer some questions then I've also got my Instagram so if any of you do have Instagram and you haven't yet followed please do so I this is just a nice pictorial kind of sharing platform so it's just pictures of everything that I make so Sometimes I add extras and little mini videos and other bits and pieces there. That was quite a funny one. I think that was when I went to Trimcraft, um, yeah, head office. Actually, no, that was on my way home. That was beautiful, that was. It was a really nice sunset, so I thought I'd capture that. So, yeah, it's not, it's, well, most of it is, um, and why is it telling me now go to post? Oh, there we go. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's get back. Oh. I'm not used to doing it on the desktop. Usually I have my mobile phone, but there you go. So yeah, that's Instagram. And then Pinterest is, again, something else that I pin everything to. So I know loads of us love to use Pinterest. It's a great, great way to um, kind of catalog and or log all of your inspirations and things that you think, oh, I love that. Oh, I'm going to pop that in a little folder so I remember to do it, you know, whenever. So yeah, I've got my boards here. Um, masculine themed, tissue box covers, Father's Day, graduation cards, pyramid fold, anniversary, engagement. These are all of my boards. I've got tons and um, yeah, you can follow them. So again, I'm seeing this because it's my own page, but if you just type in Mixed Up Craft on Pinterest, it should bring up my face there with my pink hair and you can just click follow. And then it's the Facebook. So I've got my Facebook page. So this is my private page where I will also then post my pictures so the blog post automatically pins or posts on here for me because it's a link that's set up with my blog to facebook and then i will then go and upload the photos separately because i know some of you like to save the photos so they're on your mobile devices but it's just a nice way for me to catalog my photos and it's also backup if anything was to happen to my blog my facebook has all of my photos saved on it and vice versa so it's just a nice way for me to really store things for free. <laughs> so yeah, that's the Facebook page. And then from that, also with the Facebook page, you can have the option, obviously you need to like it to be able to see it, but then you can either follow it as well. If you follow it, it works the same way as the YouTube notification bell. So if you don't click the bell on YouTube, then you will only see occasional uploads. Whereas if you click the bell, you see everything. It's the same for this. If you click following, 
you've got the C first. So if you just make sure it's got that on, then that means you'll see everything. Default's just standard how it would be with like most things, even some of your friends that you're friends with, you can follow them. So some people always say, oh, I don't think I've never, I never see if you're online or not. It's probably because you're not following them. And then you've got unfollow. So if you're not interested, but you want to still like it, I mean, I don't really get that because I think if you don't want to follow it, then why have you liked it in the first place kind of thing? Because most of the things that I've liked, I follow because I want to see it. So I guess it's like YouTube, you know, our tastes change over the years. So anyway, that's enough rabbling. That's the page. And then the group is Mixed Up Crafters. And that is for you guys. So head over to there, join it. And um, you do have to answer two questions. Now, I know that if you are on the phone or even your I think your tablets as well I don't think the questions come up I'm sure I remember reading somewhere that the two questions that you need to answer to be approved don't show so if anybody wonders why they get declined that's the reason why you need to go on to the desktop Facebook and join it and then you will see the questions I believe so I think that's what it is because I hate to decline people but it's worked really well because it's a really safe and fun environment. And I hand on heart, it's not even a year old yet. We've got over 3000 members and I've never once had anything negative happen on this group. I've never had any nastiness. I've never had any anything vulgar said. I have not had people spamming it or uploading things they shouldn't because everything gets vetted by my mum, me and my sister. So it's if anybody's unsure, it's just a really safe place. Plus, it's private. So it means that if you have made a card for someone's birthday, as long as they're not a member of the group, you can post it and they won't see it. So don't ever worry, like, you know, if you've been making something two months in, in advance, because sometimes people post and they're like, oh, finally, I can share this. You can share it as long as they're not a friend. In, you know, they're not in the group as well, because obviously then they will see it. But say it's your birthday card for your husband and you're in this group, you can post it. He won't see it because it's a private group. He has to be a member to see what goes on in the group. So yeah, there you go. I hope that's helped those of you that have asked these questions. I hope it's maybe just, yeah, shown some of you some things that you didn't already know. And um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate all the support, all the followers, all the likes, all the comments, everything. You know how much I am. Yeah, I'm very, very, very thankful. So tune in tomorrow the start of the new series i can't wait and um yeah i've got lots of cool cards to show you and thank you for stopping by thanks again guys see you soon bye